Right, hi Joanna. So, your first song. So well done on that. I think I was about twice your age when I wrote my first song, so well done. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to just play the whole thing straight through <clears throat> so you can play along with it, and then at the end of the video we'll go into some details about how to practice it and all that stuff, okay? So, here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> really really nice stuff okay so the uh, E minor the main bit the E minor to G I think you've got that already so no problems there at all so nice quick changes okay so remember from E minor you can get this one up a little bit then the other two go down so so as you're bringing these two up this finger should go from here to here okay so now, so the next bit is where we go to E major, or just E, okay? So we've got this one here, so so we've got that little crescendo, crescendo, when it gets sort of quiet and then loud, okay? So, so we've got that eight times, and then this one, so, so that's just a C up two frets, but without the bar. So that kind of makes it a different kind of chord. So what we called it was E minor 9 slash D. And remember, the slash in a chord means that you've got that note in the bass. So like, if you have a D chord, but you put this in there. Now that's that note there is an F sharp because you've got E, there's no E sharp, so straight to F, then F sharp. Okay. So, so that would be D slash F sharp, okay? D with F sharp in the bass. So this one here is an E minor 9 with a D in the bass. There's that D. There's the rest of the chord. Now, so going between these two, right? So there's not much that E major and this one <clears throat> have in common. So it's just a case of taking your time with it. First finger goes up from first fret on the G to the third fret on the um, B string and then you just make a C from that point so go, just go back and forward on it don't worry about sort of doing it eight times you know so when you're just practicing the change just do it once okay so here nice slow change at first and bring it up all right back and forward back and forward like that over and over and over again because you have to be able to get it in time you got to be able to get it quick two three. so it's got to be that quick so that means you got to do it loads of times back and forward now the next bit instead of an e major going to that chord we've got an a minor now this is actually a little bit easier 
because all you have to do is bring it up two frets and as you're doing that not so up two frets and then bring your third finger from that fourth fret on the G string to the fifth fret on the A string now remember you want to get into the habit of doing both those things at the same time so you don't want to do it like this eh, eh, okay that's okay but it's always going to be better if, if you do it make that little change with your third finger as you're moving up boom like that okay so as it's going up this finger is already getting into position oops okay so we're coming up as we're going up boom there we go and you just do the same thing with that okay back and forward back and forward over and over and over again okay so that's kind of the only really tricky bit in this okay and uh, so you've got that bit there that we just did so you can just go back to that play along but before you do that I think you should put some practice into going from E major to that one the E minor 6 slash D okay just back and forward back and forward and then you have to write lyrics for the song okay see you next week